one is your kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve x plus 1 into dy by dx minus y equals to e power x times x plus 1 whole square solution given differential equation x plus 1 into dy by dx minus y equals to e power x times x plus 1 whole square. Okay. So, if you notice, you are having the coefficient of dy by dx is x plus 1. Since we need to make the coefficient of dy by dx to 1, so what we'll do is we'll divide the whole equation by this x plus 1. Okay. Then, dy by dx minus y by x plus 1 equals to e power x times x plus 1 whole square by x plus 1. Okay. If you divide the whole equation with this x plus 1, the x plus 1 in the first term gets cancelled. x plus 1 into dy by dx minus y by x plus 1 equals to e power x times x plus 1 whole square by x plus 1. Then, here you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we can split this into two terms. Then, you will get x plus 1 by x plus 1 into dy by dx minus y by x plus 1 equals to e power x into cancel 1 x plus 1. Then you'll get e power x times x plus 1. Then cancel x plus 1. Then you'll get dy by dx minus 1 by x plus 1 into y equals to e power x times x plus 1. Or you can write this step directly from the first step. Okay, no need to write these two steps. Fine. So we have dy by dx minus 1 by x plus 1 into y equals to e power x times x plus 1, right? Consider it as equation 1. Now, compare the equation 1 with the standard form of linear equation dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, which is a standard form of linear equation in one. Right? So, by comparing these two, we can say that equation 1 is in standard form of linear equation. Right? So, now we'll get P and Q. P and Q by comparing these two. Then P equals to minus 1 by x plus 1 function of x and q equals to e power x times x plus 1. This is also a function of x. Here p and q are functions of x. Right. Now, now let's find integrating factor. We know that integrating factor is given by e power integral p dx is equals to e power integral for p equals to minus 1 by x plus 1 into dx. Then integrating factor equals to e power, you can write this as minus integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx. So, 
since we know that integral 1 by ax plus b into dx equals to 1 by a into log mod ax plus b. Right. Now, compare integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx with this. Then, for a equals to 1 and b equals to 1. See, the quotient of x, a, is 1 and in the place of b, we are having 1, right? So, for a equals to 1 and b equals to 1, we will get integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx is 1 by for a equals to 1 log mod ax plus b. That is same thing. You will get the same thing. x plus 1 for a equals to 1. 1 into x, x plus b, 1. Okay, which is equals to log mod x plus 1. This is equals to e power minus log mod x plus 1. You can also write this as e power minus log x plus 1. And we know that m log n equals to log n power m. Then you can write minus log x plus 1 as log x plus 1 inverse. Since e power log some function of x equals to function of x, then this becomes x plus 1 inverse, which is equals to 1 by x plus 1, right? So, therefore, integrating factor is equals to 1 by x plus 1. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of a linear equation which is in dy by dx plus p into y equals to q form is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now, let's find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution is y into integrating factor 1 by x plus 1 equals to integral q for q equals to e power x into x plus 1 into integrating factor 1 by x plus 1 into dx plus c then y by x plus 1 equals to here x plus 1 x plus 1 gets cancelled you'll get integral e power x dx plus c which is equals to integral e power x dx is e power x plus c then y equals to x plus 1 times e power x plus c or we can write this as y equals to x plus 1 times e power x plus x plus 1 times c x plus 1 times c which is the required general solution. Therefore, the general solution of the given equation is y equals to x plus 1 times e power x plus c or y equals to, you can just write this as e power x times x plus 1 plus c into x plus 1. So, this completes the problem. So, we have seen a problem from a differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.